Grab the back of the saddle. And let go. And rub. And just 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 get on the it was enough. Went just little by little by little. I know what this horse is wanting to do. Pull him around. Grab the back of the saddle and get little by little by little. A lot of spur. A lot of spur. Don't jab him, roll it. And let it go and rub. And just start on the circle. Awesome. Little by little by little. He'll be good by the end of the week. Remember, percent a day. Pull him around. Roll that spur a little bit. Get a little bit of softness. And let it go. And keep looking forward and keep going forward. Awesome. So you can see how this horse is trying to hide, his, hide from the bridle a little bit, which is fine. We'll get him out of that. Take a while. Not saying how long. Never say never and don't always say always. Okay, pull his head around. I'd like to see you be reaching down that rein a little bit more. And awesome, and let that go. See, you're starting to get that. He's wanting almost to stay in that arc already. Just reach down that rein and, let, and take a feel and that, awesome. Awesome. Grab the back of that saddle. You can let it slide. Keep that feet. Roll a roll up foot. Turn that toe way out to begin with. No outside spur. Awesome. Let it go. Go forward. Doing great. So I want you to reach way down there. And the first move phase with your foot is turning your toe way out. You can let that rein slide. You just reach four of and together. Grab the back of that saddle. As you, you might have to let it out quite a bit. Grab that saddle. Turn that toe way out. You're wanting to go to your spur first. Awesome. Let it go and rub. Rub your horse. Try and rub the hair off your horse. So the only reason I'm having you reach way down is you're just creating a feel when you're going, you're just tromboning down there. Now I'm not, I'm not going to have you trombone, but I'm having you slide down there and just creating a feel. He feels you coming. And that doesn't mean that you can't let that head out, right? As, as if he gets a little bit, if it's a little too claustrophobic, a little too tight to begin with. Someday we'll have him, we'll really bend him. Okay, reach way down there. Turn that toe way out. There you go. Love that. Try and grab that saddle when you get a chance. Turn that toe way out even farther. And, and roll that rib up. No outside. Come on. Let that. Come on. Roll it. Roll it. And let it out. Let it out and rub. There you go. And just keep going forward. See, you're teaching them here little by little to get forward. Because that spur is softening them. That's going to be that same rib that you're going to roll. Get it soft going into that barrel if this was a barrel horse. At first, we're, we're, ha we're having to go to phase four. Really turn the toe out. Really turn it out and roll. if you ha And let it out and rub. Awesome. That's the start of it. Jacqueline was having problems with this horse here. When she'd pull his head around, he'd just stop his feet and spin and... Really turn that toe out and get to the back of that saddle. You can still let that rein slide. Really pull them ribs out of the way. Really pull them and let it go and rub. Just little by little by little. Maybe we'll make it a, a wrap, a full round around in the tight little circle. Maybe we won't today. All right. Anytime you want, I want you to start cantering off. Or trotting, whatever, whatever you like. I like to canter because I can start working on getting them tired a little bit, like, like the, the dog whisper, how he'll tie them dogs to the treadmill, and then then we can maybe get what we want. 
I'm the middle of the circle. And when you get a chance, let them go and just pull them through the middle. I'm the middle. Come right through me. Awesome. Keep them driving. Remember, when you pull on a rein, you got to keep pushing with your core. Through me. Come on. Keep driving. Drive with your core. Awesome. You're doing great. I love it. Keep driving around them corners. These are tight little corners in this building. Through me. See how he's leaning? Keep him driving now. Keep him driving. You're doing awesome. I love it. Love it. Yep. Just do it and do it and do it. You're doing great. You're doing awesome. You just keep driving there. See, he he got to think on his own right there. You quit nursing him. He had to make the decision whether he was going to the barn or coming. Come through me right there. Perfect. Keep him driving. Come through the middle. Go all the way up by the chairs. Push him all the way to the other. There you go. You're doing great. Doing great. Let him go. Let him go. All the way up to the lawn chairs here. See, she's going to drive him right through the middle, which is me. And then really drive with your core. Lift your chin up, your pelvis up. Look where you're going. You're doing great. You're doing great. See how he wants to lean on them walls? I trust me, you're doing an awesome job. He will get better. See how he wants to turn his head out, folks, and look out? But she's not going to nurse him here. She's just going to keep playing this game. You want to go to the barn? I'm going to pull you through the middle. And then see how she relaxes and let, lets his head down through the middle. Pretty soon he'll find out that's more work to go to the barn because she, she interrupts that and, and, keeps, and, and bothers him by pulling them shoulders through the middle of the circle. Through the middle. Keep them driving with your core now. You're doing awesome. You'll need that core in the barrel racing someday to drive him up into the into the hole. Doing great. Drive with that core. Keep your focus lifted up and looking. Keep your pelvis up, your belly button up, your chin up. All the way up to the lawn chairs. Good job. Let him down. Let him make the mistake. Doing great. Let that head down. Awesome. Keep pushing with the inside. The outside is your support. When you, when you push with that, them feet around that corner, you're doing great. This is an awesome video on what my circle is all about. And the coolest part is look how much she gets to pull on them shoulders. She's getting that shoulder broke. And she's just playing a little game here. You gonna to go to the barn? Okay, I'll just pull on them shoulders and pull them through the middle. Awesome, all the way to the lawn chairs. You're doing great and you're getting the hell broke out of your horse. Really focus on this other wall coming across here and just see if it makes a difference on where you're focusing. Good job. Drive, drive, drive. See, he got to make that decision right there. And your deal is just keep him moving forward and he can, get, he can make the decision on what direction he's going to go. Pull him through the middle. That doesn't hurt. Keep him driving. Keep your pelvis up. Keep your chest up. Keep him driving. Don't let him break gate. Keep them driving, keep them driving. Good job, good job. 
you're letting him make the decisions. He wants to go, then, then you pick him up. Awesome, awesome. Keep him driving, keep him driving. And I want you to say the W word by the shoot. Good. See, the reason he made it one time, I thought, right, the last time. And when he made it, now we're going to stop and we're going to rub him and we're going to spend, we're going to smoke so many cigarettes here and get drunk. And he's going to get stuck to this spot. And we're going to bend him here at this spot later, a little later. And he's going to realize that he's, when he gets away from the barn, he gets rested. We can't blame him for trying to go to the barn because that's where he gets brushed and fed, right? But what the great thing is about, we get to train on them shoulders. We get to pull them shoulders across the middle, across the middle. And pretty soon, because it's got nothing to do with staying on the circle. The deal, we're getting to break that shoulder. We got to pull on that shoulder 30 times. And then we go the other way, we're going to pull on that shoulder 30 or 40 times. And pretty soon, we were just playing a game, just don't go to the barn. In the meantime, we got the hell broke out of his shoulders and kind of got us... We got to pull on his face. Even though I say, don't pull on your horse, we pulled on him to tell him to not go to the barn. We weren't pulling on him to keep him on the circle. We pulled on him to tell him to not go to the barn. And believe it or not, we're getting that mouth broke. Okay? 